So you and I went on a date about four months ago, right? No, much, much more. It was like six months ago, back in July. Yeah. Yeah. And you and I met at a show. I saw you on stage telling this hilarious story. And I was like, all right, we have to actually go on a proper date. Um, I went into this not thinking that there would be a story that would come from it. But here's the story. So I was in Zurich to meet this girl and I was too afraid to kind of just ask her. Like, I didn't want to just show up to Zurich and expect her to, you know, see me because we'd met a long time ago. I was like, I'm not going to text her until I'm really lonely. <laughs> and then like 24 hours later, I was like, I got to text this girl. <laughs> It's so hard to make friends with Swiss people. I don't know what it is. You're not too mean, but you're not too like friendly. Like you don't you don't do anything too mean, but you don't do anything too friendly. You're just neutral, just like you always are. Just neutral, <laughs> right down the middle. And it makes sense though, because some countries need people. Like you go get a taxi at an airport, you land in some countries, and the guy's like, taxi, taxi, do you want taxi? Come on, taxi, taxi, come on, taxi. But that would never happen if you landed in Zurich. I mean, you just see a well-dressed Swiss guy standing by the exit. Do you need a ride in my Maserati? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm so rich! <laughs> what an asshole. So I finally, I texted her. I was like, hey, uh, I just happened to be in Zurich <laughs> for two weeks. Uh, are you around? What are you up to? She's like, why didn't you tell me earlier? We could have been in the mountains and doing all this kind of fun stuff. And I was like, really? Are you still... You still like me? Oh my god! And so I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm here. She's like, all right, well, then we can go hang out uh, tomorrow. I was like, good, yeah, I have, yeah, I've got so much to do, but I'll cancel my plans, it's okay. She gives me options. She's like, you can go to the lake or to the river. And that's what you do, Swiss summer. You want to go to the lake or to the river? Lake or river? And I was walking around the lake, and it was so depressing because it was a beautiful day, and every piece of grass was taken by just a sunburnt Swiss. <laughs> sunburn and sunblock you could just smell the wealth and i was like i don't know you know a lot of ferraris and maseratis and porsches like i just feel so insecure it's like maybe we'll go to the river that way we don't have to see people and so she's got this waterproof bag we put both of our phones in it and then we take off down the river you know and i'm thinking it's going to be a casual you know like, you know just floating on the river having fun she didn't tell me it is like a freaking triathlon like you will die unless you know how to swim i don't know how to swim i failed the swim test when I was in uh, summer camp, they put all the kids on one side of the pool, and I knew they knew I was gonna fail too, because I was the only black kid. And they're just like, they're looking at me, and I'm like, yeah! <laughs> so she, we get into this river, and you have to like swim. And she's a PhD candidate, and she's half Filipino, half Swiss. She's just like, all worldly and cultural. She's talking about her PhD. And she's like, yeah, you know, my professor really wants me to work harder, but I like relaxing, you know, kind of like in this river, like I am right now. And meanwhile, I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's very good. <laughs> and then when you're going down the river, you always see the little exits, little stairs to freedom every time. And every time we pass them, I'm like. I, I was like, to me, it was like, it was an emotional experience. And I was like, yeah, man, that was crazy. Uh, <laughs> you know, what a great way to spend the afternoon swimming in the river. And you're like, that wasn't swimming. That was floating. I was like, thanks. <laughs> I mean, it really isn't swimming because the stream does everything for you. And honestly, without being mean, okay, it is mean, but you're such a bad swimmer, <laughs> really. <laughs> you were like doing the dog thing, not even like a really good breaststroke or anything. Like really, you were keeping your head over water trying to survive. That was so bad. I'm sure it wasn't attractive either. Not really. <laughs> yeah, no. So I'm in my head this whole time while drowning, just thinking like she's not interested at all. I didn't think you were interested before. I was like, she's definitely not interested now. And then I we mean, get out. I was interested, but like your body language and everything, you didn't show any interest. At I was all. drowning. Like, so how the, how could I show any interest while drowning? He'd be like, hey, also sweetheart. before, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Get your pri get your priorities right, you know. <laughs> okay. Either I'd... drowning or show your intentions. And then we get out, and then all our stuff is soaked. Yeah. And then you you say, oh. Um, I was like, oh, you could put it in some rice to turn the phone back on. And I was like, do you have any rice? And you're like, yeah, I'm Filipino. Of course I have rice. And then we get to your apartment and your apartment is just disgusting. I was so embarrassed because it was so dirty, but I didn't expect you to come to my place. I didn't expect that I would destroy all your stuff. Even when we were walking from the river to my place so that I even texted my flatmate, my best friend, 
ask her whether she's at home and if she would be at home, whether she could start cleaning because I'm bringing my date over unexpectedly. But unfortunately, yeah. she wasn't at home. But she went for out for a drink with friends, a beer, and left everything, tried to get back in time before us, so that she could clean up. And then she tried to say, oh, these are mine from last night, even though they were really yours. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Not all heroes wear capes. Some know. heroes like uh, protect you and present you in a way that you aren't so that you get late. And then I needed to redeem myself from drowning. And I needed to like demonstrate my manliness by doing dishes for some reason. I thought that that would be the like the the way that I can demonstrate my self-worth. Like if we were, if our kid were drowning in the river, um, I couldn't save him, but I could do the dishes once you saved him and we got him home. So, Let me show you I can handle the water, but in another manner. Yeah, exactly. Let <laughs> me show you. The dishes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not afraid of water. I'm not afraid <laughs> of water. I can wash dishes. Oh, so we end up walking back to my hotel. Mm-hmm. And we're standing out front. Mm-hmm. And what's going through your mind? Is he going to ask me whether I want to join? How, how do you ask that, though, without being like, hey, you want to have sex? Not sex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can also talk with your body language, but I didn't get anything from your body language. You were like standing at least uh, like one and a half meters away from me. Yeah. Well, it was Corona, so yeah let's have sex with one <laughs> 1. 1.5 meters distance <laughs> i thought that after drowning and uh you know me doing the dishes wasn't enough and then on the walk back i was like well she, you know, she's clearly not interested and then so i'm thinking you're not interested you're looking at me thinking he's not interested and so then we kind of gave each other like a corona hug and then that was it we yeah. walked home into the friend zone. And then now we can't date at all because I, I have someone. That's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. Yeah. I don't like you anymore, but good for you. But I think we both were still very hurt, hurt from our for, former from our... relationships. So yeah. nobody of us wanted to put themselves out. No. For, uh, like risk something. We don't want to get hurt because of our previous breakups. Yeah. So, yeah. That's it. but in general, I mean, it's a good thing to express one's feelings. I like that. Even if it is risky. So the moral of the story is express your feelings. What a nice moral. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Hey. Your feelings. <laughs> Eat, pray, love. Eat, pray, love. You've got a few potentials, right? Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> you got a few options, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, let's say yes. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yes. Um, there's worse things, like not being able to swim. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It was so bad. I mean, it's like, sorry, it's so misleading. You have, you have a very good body, as people can see from your show, and it's very athletic. But it's so misleading because like you swim like a stone. It's like, it's a trap. It's like a fake illusion. All these muscles don't keep him up. He was just like going. But do you know how to swim? (laughs) Yeah, I know how to to swim. Because I observed like you were doing the doggy swim. But not even one of these, you know, like breast strokes or crawl or anything. I know how to swim, all right? You know? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Enough.